glad to be back. Yeah, really, really excited, you know, to come back to my hometown club, you know, it's something that I've always wanted to, to do again, so, yeah, real happy. Um, obviously, the move has been in, in the pipeline for quite some mm. time. How is it hard to kind of keep that quiet and, and you know, keep keep you cool, you know, with uh, the prospect of returning to you? Yeah, well, I've I'd, I'd known for, for a little over a month now that I was coming back and what have you, so um, people kept asking me questions whether I was coming back and what have you, so it was pretty, pretty difficult to... You know, to, to keep saying, no, I don't know what's going on just yet when I, I knew full well that I'd, you know, all coming back. So a bit, a bit a little bit strange living in Northern Town, getting questioned every day. And I think just over five years you were away from mm. the club, does it feel like longer? No. It, it, it feels like two minutes ago since I'll be came back and fit straight, straight back in, really. You know, everybody's welcoming me with open arms again and you know, enjoying my time here again. And obviously, you know, you, you, played, you went through quite a few clubs there. Um, is it... Was it a good journey for you? Is it a good experience to leave Bradford in the first place and come back, or do you kind of wish you'd stuck it out here and stayed, at, stayed with the Bulls? Um, I, I don't regret what I've what I've done. I don't regret going to Rugby Union, and I most definitely don't regret going to Wigan. You know, um, I went to I went to Rugby Union for a challenge, and unfortunately, I got injured on my debut, and that put me back a couple of years. And then went to Wigan and, and thoroughly enjoyed my time there. And I can't thank Wigan enough as a as a club and as a, as fans who supported me through my injury. You know, a difficult time in my, in my career, and then um, to come back, which is you know something that I've been wanting to do for the last a good a good eighteen months. I wanted to come back. So you actually you actually wanted to come back oh, yeah. while you were while you were with Wigan? No, it, it was coming to it was coming to me under my contract, and um, they were not, a bit of an option to either stay to stay with Wigan, which I wanted to do because obviously you know. The, to a top of the league, champions, and I wanted to stay there. But you know, when you hear rumours that Bradford are coming back in for me, and it was you know a no-brainer, especially when it came this time to to come back. Yeah, I think a few people, you know, in the newspaper reports that have gone with you coming back to the Bulls have suggested this may be you know kind of last chance saloon for you as a as a rugby league player. Would you agree with that? Or do you yeah, think? you could you could say that. You know, I've, um, yeah, you could, yeah, you could say that. You know, it's going to be. Uh, since we've got to a point in my career now where I've got to be playing every week now and and push on and get get my form back. You know, I feel like my 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 injuries are behind me now. And what have you? So hopefully I can get back to playing week in week out and, and get back to my consistent form. So a point to prove maybe to the fans, um, but have you got one to prove to yourself? Do you think you know you give yourself a bit of confidence yeah, on the pitch? You've got a point to prove to to myself and to, to obviously to fans. Wherever, wherever you go, you, you you play and you've got to, you've got to prove your point to your fans and you prove it, prove it to yourself and to your, to your fellow players and your coaching staff. You you know you're in the day you're in, you're in a team and you you go out there to play your best of your ability. Hopefully, I can get that um, back at Bradford and, and and kick on from there. Yeah, you're grateful to to Mick for you know giving you the chance to come back here because I know you, you did work with him previously at this club in, in, the, in the late nineties. <laughs> yeah, extremely young. Yeah, I will have been about 13, 14, maybe a bit younger. So no, it's good to be back and under under, under Mick, and we'll um, see where we go this year. So how special do you think it'll be? You know, if you if and when you do get the chance to to pull on the the Bulls jersey again, how special a moment will that be for you? I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. You know, to like I said before, yeah, I've uh, coming through here, but maybe take um, playing for your own time for granted a bit with me coming through as a signing when I was 13, 13 year old, and then going through, and then you kind of you, I fell into it and played week in week out and what have you. So you kind of took it for granted, and when I went and played for Wigan, and you play again, you know, playing um, for a small town like Wigan, and how passionate they are, and then you play with like into Sam Tonkins and own grown. And you realise that's just how special it is when you know what it means, and to come back is. I'm really looking forward to it. I was just going to say for players that do come through the ranks and then and then work their way into the first mm. team, you know, it's it's kind of always going to be difficult to to make a successful move elsewhere, isn't it, away from the the club that they've you know mm. known and loved for many years. Oh yeah, absolutely. You know, it, 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 when I left, it were with a, a very heavy art. It were you know something that I, I struggled to to make the decision, but I just thought it were. A time to to really you know go and challenge myself with something new, go down and play a different sport and try and succeed in that. Obviously, it didn't plan out the way that I wanted to plan out, but you know, like I said before, I don't regret one bit. Have you missed the playoffs? I have. You know, two minutes away from training, I'm back. You know, it's get to just two minutes jump out of bed. I'm here, and you know, I miss being around Odsal and, and seeing some friendly faces that are still here. So. 
it's, it's good. You can tell from the, you know, the smile on your face as well. You know, perhaps we haven't perhaps seen that um, uh, for quite some time. Yeah, but you know, you know, it's it's not been the as rosy as I want it to be these last couple of years. You know, and what have you. You know, obviously that comes down with, with form, so you're not going to be too happy. But I'm backing with a familiar familiar bunch. All, all boys are brilliant as aware of it at previous clubs. Um, but now I'm, I feel like I fit back in and I feel at home.